Welcome back to this World of Warcraft Let's Play. You're with Sambo and joining us as always is Yogurt, our level 10, in fact almost level 11, just a hair's breadth away from level 11, Yogurt, our goblin chamois. Say good day, Yogurt. Shazam to you. In fact, yes, look at that. We hadn't noticed that before, folks. We are 99% of the way through level 10. And, of course, we're about to hand in some quests. So we are about to be level 11. This is very exciting. You can see there, 6,631 XP out of 6,700. So we are nearly there. And, of course, if you joined us in the last episode, you'll remember we were doing some goblin zombie slaying over here on the other side of the barricades. You can see a couple of them just through there. There they go, goblin zombies, and we're all done and dusted, and we've got three quests to hand in here in this area with Foreman Dampwick and Coach Crosscheck, and of course, Assistant Greeley. But before we go any further and hand them in, and no doubt ding up to level 11, by the way, is something that we've got to do, and that, of course, is to spend our talent point, and that's something that we didn't do uh, in the last episode because we were waiting to get our flame tongue weapon and of course not only do we have that there we've got flame tongue weapon we also now have our lava lash so we are all set to rock and roll and that means we can spend our talent here now just do a quick refresher we've got ourselves elemental weapons focused strikes or improved shields now improved shields here increases the damage done by our lightning shield orbs by five percent and that's all cool, but what it's really going to be useful for later on is that it increases the amount of mana gained from our water shield orbs by 5%. And of course, once we're resto spec, that will be very, very handy. Uh, we'll put an extra point in there. Of course, resto is over here. But once we've got to the top of this tree and we've got Riptide, when we go Resto, we'll actually come over here and drop a couple of points into that one. So we just get that little extra bit of mana. Uh, in the middle here, we've got Focus Strikes, which inc increases the damage dealt by our Primal Strike and Storm Strike abilities by 15%. Of course, Primal Strike is this here, an instant attack with your equipped weapon. But this is probably the one we're going to go for, and it's the Elemental Weapons Increases. The passive bonuses granted by your flame tongue weapon, which of course is what we're, here we go, what we're sporting right now. And you can see if we hover over that, by the way, it's that we imbue our equipped weapon, dealing fire damage when we strike enemies. So that's going to increase by 50, no, 20%. Wow. And you can see the damage of your extra attacks from Wind Fury weapon as well. Once we get that later on, that's another imbue uh, by 20%. And the effectiveness, effectiveness of the ongoing benefits of our Unleash Elements ability by 25%, which we don't have. But uh, it goes without saying, we're going to pop it into there. 20% extra for the Flame Tongue. That means every single time we strike... Uh, that good old fire damage is going to be doing an extra 20% than it normally would. And you can see as that's popped up there, once we've finished spending our points, all we need to do is click learn. And we can always reset our talent choices by visiting our class trainer. Are you sure you want to learn these talents? Yes, we are. So let's reapply the flame tongue weapon. In fact, what we'll do is make sure that it's on both of them, in fact. Let's just do that. There we go now both of those there we go both are reset to 30 minutes and hopefully they've got a nice big extra 20 percent bonus on them so i'm very happy about that all right let's get on with things now what's shaking what's shaking assistant Greeley, rock and powder here we go hmm let's see how much you got you might remember of course that we had to go and retrieve that from the three villages up over near the zombies and that was a bit of an effort so we've got those this will do. In fact, it's more than we need. I devised an ingenious idea for a weapon that the boots will be turned into once you get them to Hobart. Hand the powder over and I'll load it into the Super Booster Rocket Boots. Yep, see, every time we get a quest, you might notice I pause, and it's because I'm just thinking in my little head here, what on earth is the harebrain scheme that they're going to come up with next? Because uh, yeah, I don't trust these guys. Anyway, get ready to ding to level 11. Catch on the flip side. And there we go. Woohoo! Well done to you, Goblin awesome. Shammy Yogurt. Yes, you should definitely cheer for that one. And you can see that we've reached level 11 and we've already got ourselves a new talent point. So how funny is that? So let's open this up right now. And you can see this actually goes up to two. So if we put another point in this, you can see there it says next rank 
uh, increases the passive bonuses granted by your flame tongue, flame tongue weapon and earth living weapon abilities by 40%. So, you know, it's well worth putting these points in. There we go. We'll pop that in there, learn that. Yes, we're sure. And we'll reapply these. And there we go. They've both reset to 30 minutes, which means they've both been done. And that literally means we've got ourselves a 40% passive extra bonus on every single melee hit we make. So very happy about that. All right, so Foreman Dank, Dank, bleh, quickly, Damp Wick. Quickly. Can't talk today. Three little pygmies. i got to tell you, that's a load off my mind, that is. I won't have to worry about no new zombies coming after my brains. Yes, you're welcome. All right, you can see the rewards here are either male or leather. And of course, leather is what we want. And that's Witch Doctor Leggings. And you can see it's going to give us an extra 9 armor and an extra plus 1 stamina. Which, by the way, in case you didn't know, plus 1 stamina literally equals 10 hit points up here. So you'll be able to see, here we go, health is 265. Once that stamina goes to 34, it will be 275. So let's complete that quest. On your way. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll equip those new pants and watch this number here or up the top there. You'll see it should go with that extra stamina point up to 275. And there you go. So that's a really good way of adding to your health pool is adding to stamina. And of course, that's a great stat to stack if you're a tank or something like that. All right, so we're done there. And let's not forget, we've got to sell off our sailor's leggings uh, once we get back to civilization. All right, coach cross check. Makes sense. Makes sense. There we go. Zombies versus Super Booster Rocket Boots. All right, you did it. No more zombies to worry about. Let's pause a moment in silence for the stinky departed. Yeah, let's not do that. He's <laughs> taking a little bow there. All right, so what are we going to get? We've got ourselves cloth, mail, and look at that. We've got leather. And this is great because it gives us yet another stamina, which is great. So another 10 hit points. So we're going to go up to 285 hit points. Uh, and it's going to give us an extra intellect as well. So uh, let's see. If, we, if you ever want to know what these do, by the way, go over to here. Go to attributes. Hover over, over intellect. And you can see there that it actually increases our spell critical hit. And it increases our mana. Uh, so I think it's the same deal in that one uh, intellect should give us 10 mana but we'll check that of course in a second so let's grab that the sbrb and of course that stands for the super booster rocket uh, boots prototype number two for armor as well we're going to take them without doubt there we go now before we go any further with him let's actually equip these and see if my theory's right let's have a look at this 420 is our mana uh, so again, holding shift there, and where are they? There they go, holding shift, you can see plus one intellect at least. Let's have a look. Oh, okay, so it actually gives us an extra 15. Well, look at that, you learn something every day, don't you? So stamina gives, plus one stamina gives us plus 10 to our hit points, yet plus one intellect actually gives us 15 intellect, so that's really cool. All right, happy about that. We'll just drop these up the top here, so there we go, so we remember to sell them off. And we are all sorted. All right, let's see what Coach what? Crosscheck has got for us. Rocket Boot Boost. I tell you folks, all of these quest names are a real tongue twister. All right, so you need to get those boots down into the Caldera to Hobart grop Grapple Hammer. Now that they're infused with the leftover rockin' powder, they should have enough thrust to get you all the way there on one shot. Oh, seriously, that doesn't sound good if you ask me. Okay, when you're ready, activate the boots. Don't worry, they're automatically set to land you safely. Uh, I think. You know what, Coach Crosscheck, that's the bit I'm not so happy about. But anyway, uh, it's never stopped me in the past. Use the rock and powder infused rocket boots and deliver them to Hobart Grapple Hammer. All right. Roll. You're going to love this, he says. I don't know. I, yeah. Anyway, let's have a look at these and see what they say. Jump into the Volcano's Caldera and deliver the boots to Hobart Grapple Hammer. Good for one trip. And of course you can see that they're up there in our quest tracker, so we don't have to go into our bags. Now let's have a look at the map and see where this is going to land. Oh, it doesn't actually show up. That's interesting. Is that, yeah, no, we've got the quest objective showing and we've got them there. So I guess there's actually just no actual objective for them. Alright, well, let's go out into the clear space here, get ourselves ready. <clears throat> Are you ready there, young yogurt? Well, it looks like she's flexing. It looks like she's she's all rip roared, ready to rock. Yep, all right. Well, we'll soon wipe that smile off your face. Here we go, folks. In five, 
four, three, two, one. Ah! Oh, well, that was a letdown. Requires coach cross check. All right, well, hey, if you want to be nearby, mate, then beat my guest. All right, here we go. Attempt number two in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. What a view. And we're going up high. Oh, we're going over onto the Ustan Scar, across the Ustan village there, and down into the crow. Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of turtles there, and yikes! Oh my lord. All right, well, we definitely survived, and we've got turtles up the wazoo here. Look at this, the child of Volcanoth. That doesn't sound very good as well. Here we are, Goblin Survivor. Child of Volcanoth. Look at this, we're down in this valley. There's prehistoric Pterodax scavengers floating above us. This island just starts getting crazier and crazier. We've got a balloon there with oil, an oil can hanging out of it. We've got, what do we got over there? We've got Volcanoth champions. What the heck are those? They look like the pygmies. And they're fighting our goblin survivors. And we got, well, we've got Sally Salvager Sandscrew over there as well. Very interesting. And I'm just a bit concerned because anything that says the child of something means that there's a big something lurking around. So I guess we'll find out soon, soon enough. Anyway, Hobart Grapple Hammer, time. hello. All right, he's saying, yes, yes, that's all very interesting. But as you can see here, we're in a fight for our lives. And these pygmies are the least of our problems compared to what's inside that cave. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. I bet it's some whatever the father or mother of those children turtles are. Anyway, there you go. Where's my worthless assistant when I need her the most? Probably off being lazy somewhere and complaining that no one asks her how her day is going, maybe. All right, well, there you are. Continue that. There's no time to waste, girl. What's wrong with the actuator on the left boot? All right, children of a turtle god. Yeah, so you can see this is absolutely going to be about those children of Volcanoth or something. It's not really that good. Volcanoth is the turtle god in the cave that these primitives worship. Yeah, I think that they're talking about that big cave there. Oh, man, I'm not looking forward to this. Hobart rolls his eyes. But it is tough enough that I'm going to have to devise a new weapon for you uh, from one of the functioning boot that we have left. I think that the age-old motto of fight fire with fire applies here. Plus, I like fire. All right, thank you for that, Hobart. Uh, let's get some fire glands from the Volcanoth's children. That should give me time to modify the rocket boot into something more fitting. All right, okay. So it looks like we have to collect five Careful fire glands. Take your time, my girl. Now, what can I modify this shredder boot to be? Hmm? All right, well, while he's off doing that, we need to get these children of Volcanoth. So, as always, we're going to make sure our flame tongue weapon is up. We're going to make sure that our lightning shield is up. We're going to put down both of our totems and hopefully pull one of these guys. There we go. And you can see our totem there our searing totem is doing its job as well and there we are one fire gland and a nice little uh, side benefit here is we can actually skin that and you can see our skinning has leveled up to level 24 now i believe we're able to unsummon ah yes this is great all right so this was a handy tip from one of our viewers now by the way i can't remember your name so if you're watching this video please let us know in the comments below if this was you because you might remember in the past episodes i've been summoning our totems here in fact let's summon them both there we go and i've been running away because on my main shami, which is level 80 something, I've got an ability called Totemic Recall. And you get that later on in the game. What that does is actually pull up your totems and return some of the mana to you, which is great. Now, I don't have that ability, so I've sort of got it in my head that we can't pull these up out of the ground once we're done. And that's a bit of a problem. Why is it a problem? Because once we leave, it could aggro a mob. And what they'll do is they'll come in here, even though we're miles away, They'll come in here and destroy the totems and then make a beeline for us, and we don't want that. So what we can do, we got told by one of our viewers, is these little circles here up under our portrait, we can right-click on them, and look at that, they're disappearing, and that's how we clean up. So very good, very handy tip, and thank you very much for it. Appreciate it. All right, we need, what do we need? Four more fire glands. So let's see if we can trot them out. 
Alright, so we're definitely putting paid to these guys fairly simply. Obviously, they're level 11, we're... Uh, rather, we're at level 11, they're level 8, so it's going to be fairly easy. Especially with all our buffs and our protection, and of course our new Flame Tongue weapon boosts from here. 40% from our talent tree, which is just great. So in actual fact, what we do want to be doing sometimes is hitting with our axe, or rather with our one-handed weapon, sorry. Uh, because we're going to get that Flame Tongue boost, which is great. Alright, what do we need? Two more, so we've got a very good success rate, rate with the drop of the fiery glands. I'm guessing it's a 100% drop rate, so that's good. And look at this, I mean, we're killing them off before we even get a hit in, before they get to us, which is fantastic. So it's great because we'll have a really formidable uh, melee ability, but we've also clearly got a really nice ranged one as well. So you can see there, basically, there we go, three casts, and it's all over over for the Child of Volcanoth. And we are done. Done already. Let's pull up our totems. And there they go, disappearing. And let's rocket belt back. There we are. And that was nice. We happened to get our skinning up to level 28 there, which is really cool. All right, so Hobart Grapple Hammer, hello. Oh, go. Children of a turtle god, no time like the present to be done with the simple task I put before you, Yogurt. Wouldn't you agree? Well, yes, careful with those glands, Yogurt, careful. Grapple Hammer's eyes light up at the sight of the fiery organs. And now, to load them into the refashioned shredder boot. I'm certain that you'll be surprised and amazed by my genius invention. Look, seriously, Hobart, we always are. Oh, look at this. This is Volcanoth. Look at him, will you? It's like a fire-breathing turtle. Oh, my God, what will they think of next? Um, you can see here, Volcanoth. It took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, but the boot Zooka, patent pending, is ready for use. Can you, can you believe that, guys? The names they come up with for these pieces of equipment here, the boot Zooka. All right. These no-good pygmies have been feeding our people to their god, Volcanoth, and they're about to unleash it on our town. Oh god, we don't want that to happen. You have to get into the cave and kill that thing before it's too late. Use the boot Zooka to slay Volcanoth. I'm just as well that we've actually got some kind of equipment to use because I'd imagine... Excuse me. I'd imagine that on our own, he would be way too formidable and we wouldn't actually be able to kill him. Now, what do we get here? Get ourselves a rescue ladder cord as a reward and it's leather, which is good, and it's a waste item. And you can see that's really nice because it gives us an extra five armor and plus one stamina again. So we're going to be up to 295, which is great, and an extra agility. Now, agility is really good for us. Go, go. Here we go. I've set the boot Zooka to fire several rockets per shot. I'm fairly certain that I've perfectly calibrated the targeting. All right, that sounds bad to me. But anyway, um, let's have a look in our character sheet. And if you hover over agility here, you'll see that we do benefit from that because it increases our attack power and our critical hit chance. Uh, now, of course, because we're going to be semi-melee, that's exactly what we need as well. So a bit of a hybrid is our good old chamois. Uh, because they're kind of ranged as well as being melee. Uh, so you have to cater for all stats. Right, let's have a look in here and see what we've got. All right, there it is. You can see it there. The boot zooka. It looks like a rocket. And it says here, use. Target Volcanoth and fire. Does 642 fire damage. And the range is 60 yards. Wow, that's a really long range there. Some splash damage to the cavern and the volcano's interior may occur. Use at your own risk. Everything I use from the goblins, let's face it, folks, is basically at my own risk. Let's let's not be uh, let's not beat around the bush. Oh my God! Look at that! It's Volcanoth, all right? Volcanoth's lair. Here we are, and you can see there that he's got, or she, or whatever it is, has got three thousand nine hundred and sixty freaking hit points. What the hell? Oh my God! Okay, that oh, this is going to be bad. Now what I'm doing is I'm trying to get into range here. And let's make sure that we've got all our buffs up, by the way. You can see up here, or maybe you can't, that we've got the boot zooka. And fortunately, it's got a range dot on it. So all I want to do is start sneaking forward until that goes white. There you go. You can see it's red there and white there. Red, 
white okay so obviously this is as close or rather as far away as I can be and we want to drop ourselves our totems and I think we just fire this thing off straight away let's see what happens what happened you're too far away look at that stay out of the way of Volcanoth's breath ah! All right, so we need to get behind these rocks. I'd say it's like a bit of a mini instance, isn't it? There we go, the rocket bazooka. Ah, whoops. And look at that. We lost half our health there just as well that we actually have a heal. I'm going to use that a couple of times. And I'm also going to get rid of our totems because I don't think they're going to do much good. All right, let's try this again. It is honestly like a, a boss in an instance. Here we go, the boot zooka again. And again, yikes, another half of our health we didn't get out of the way of his fiery breath in time again just as well we've got this blimmin heal or we would be dead yikes all right let's do it again targeting Volcanoth and there we go the boot zooker and bam off it goes let's do two shots on it hopefully this will kill it for good and did it yes yogurt come on get over here we are done we're down on health though now who is yelling that out over there Oh boy, and it sounds to me like the cave is caving in. Look at that! Wow, we just managed to avoid that. Good lord. All right, here we are, Volcanoth. Who is yelling that out? Oh, there's people over the other side. All right, let's use our rocket boost. Get out of here before this whole thing caves in past the body of Volcanoth. Look at it, it's all collapsing around us. Oh my god. Oh, look at this, she's got a rescue ship. Help, help, help. How do we get up there? Sassy, it's Sassy. Hello, Sassy. Can we get close to it? Yes, just. Here we go. I managed to get everyone else safely back to town. Um, jump in. We've got to get out of here before the volcano blows for good. Oh my god, complete the quest. Here we go. All right, grab onto the ladder. We've got to get out of here. We'll make a flyby of the town, and then I'm going to get you to some of the old friends. Speak to Thrall. What? Speak to Thrall at the War Chief's lookout in the Lost Isles. Oh my god, okay, it's all nuts. It's crazy. Here we go. We're hanging on. Look at that. We're hanging on to the rope. Can you see that, folks? That is us on the rope of the ladder there. And look at this. The cave is exploding behind us. It's like a Jerry Brockheimer movie, folks. Can we make it out of here? We're, it's, a, like a, it's like a race. It's like coming out of the middle of the Death Star in the Millennium Falcon. It's like everything that you've ever seen before in an action movie. And do we manage to get out? Yes, we do. Oh, my Lord. All right. Oh, not too much of that. Thanks, folks. Talk about building up a sweat. Look at this. This is all on fire out here as well. Looks like the entire volcano has exploded. And the whole island is burning up. Mind you, that's going to put paid to those goblin zombies. Zombies? Goblin zombies. There we go again. We're coming up on the town in a box now. Look at this. The sky is bright red. Look at that. Oh, no. Where is everyone? I dropped them off here. What? Where did they all go? This just does not let up, folks. This quest is insane. Look at that. Will you look at that view? The entire island has exploded. We've got thunder. We've got lightning. We've got meteorites in the sky. We've got ash coming down. The sky is blazing red. The Lost Isles are no more by the looks of things. Look at that. On the map, it's even changed. We've got lava flowing down. That is the hill that we went up where the zombies were attacking us before. It was all nice and green. We've lost our town. We've lost the hills. It is all a, oh wow, it's an absolute nightmare here, folks. It's like Deathwing has come past and just showered this place in his fiery wrath. But you can see over in the background there the explosions, the volcano has erupted. We've got lava flows left, right, and center. Look at the meteors in the sky there pouring out. We've got the war chiefs look out here. It is not good for us, folks. This is epic. What an absolutely epic quest that was. I'm thoroughly exhausted. I bet Yogurt is too. Will you look at that? What an amazing phase shift there. The technology of the game, of course, phasing us into this. And we now have the situation where the central area and the old part of town there is now completely enveloped in lava. That was epic. If... yeah. Seriously, I love this game. I love the Goblin starting area. And if that wasn't epic enough, folks, look who is here. It is the one. It is the only. It is the Thrall. And we need to kneel in front of Thrall because he is one of the most awesome, awesome characters in the entire game. And we pay our respects to him there. And he's saying to us, your friends were all taken prisoner by Trade Prince Gallywix while the volcano was exploding. Oh, my God. 
Does this get any worse? This has just grown like literally out of the frying pan into the fire, folks. It is just bam, 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 one storyline after another. It is not letting up here. This is what epic questing is all about in the world of Warcraft Cataclysm expansion. If you haven't got this game, go out and buy it now. <laughs> Seriously, we are going to have to deal with the Alliance quickly if we're to rescue them and get off this island, says Thrall. Can you believe it? After all that has happened to us, we are now being underpinned by Prince Gallywix himself. I knew it. I knew he would come back and cause problems. And by the way, there's Agra More over there cry. as well. All right, old friends, I told you we would meet again, Yogurt. The War Chief gives you an appraising look. Let's give him a bow. Whoops, I would do that again. There we go. Oh, full on, folks. Unfortunate that it's under such dire circumstances. Loktar, friend. Loktar, friend. Loktar to you too. Mighty Thrall, you are a legend. You are standing Loktar, before us, friend. and I can't believe it. it's unbelievable. Okay, repel the paratroopers, he says. The Alliance have caught back up with us at just the wrong moment, my friend. Uh, we took care of the ships, but they still have planes that are dropping their vaunted 127th paratroopers onto the coast below. In fact, we can see some planes off in the background there as well. It's all that the Battle Sworn and Scouts can do to hold the two ramps against their overwhelming numbers. I'm certain that if you were to aid them, the tide would be quickly turned. Slay 10 t uh, Alliance paratroopers is what he wants us to do. Let's accept that quest, and we'll have a look on the map where that is. So it looks like it's down. Oh, okay, so it's definitely down here on the beachfront. Got another beachfront down there, and it looks like we have to kind of go up and down there, I'd say. It looks like there's a little uh, pathway or something of getting down there. Can you believe it, folks? This is Thrall. Hello, Thrall. That is just amazing, isn't it? Let's uh, see if we can get ourselves a screenshot there. Get us all in frame. Yeah, about there. There we go. Not often that you get to stand toe to toe with such a mighty lore character from the world of Warcraft. Right, so armor oh, vendor, we absolutely need to sell off our stuffs, and we also need to get rid of our old clothes because, of course, they're just taking up space in our inventory. Now we've got dual weapons at the moment. Do we want? I don't think. I don't know, 285 extra armor. We might hang on to our shield at the moment because you never know that might actually come in handy later on. Uh, rescue ladder cord. Oh, now we've got to equip that just as well I remembered. So we'll pop that on. And you can see, yeah, there we go. 295 hit points now. So we're really coming into our own as a shaman and as a character, of course. We're already at level 10 and a half. We've got a couple of... Uh, talent points already knocked away there, and we're nearly 300 hit points, so we're doing very well. And look at that, speaking of Agra, she's got a quest for us as well. Let's have a chat with her. Speak your mind. All right, the blood of the fallen cries out for justice, the heads of the SI7. Those orcs, these orcs were murdered. Oh, oh, I never noticed that. Look at that, we've got a couple of bodies down there. These orcs were murdered in cold blood by the Alliance down on the coast. We did nothing to provoke them. Their deaths should not be in vain, Yogurt. Will you bring them to justice? Agra appears if she can barely contain her rage. There are three SI7 leaders down there among along the beach. Bring me each of their heads. Whoa, okay, that's full on. Uh, collect the heads of Commander Arrington, Darkblade Sin, and Alexei Silent Howl. And you can see there that we get ourselves... What do we get? We got a... Oh, another shield. So it's called a silver platter. That's what it looks like. All right, so that's probably what Go we will accept. Honor. Deliver justice for our dead. We certainly will, Agra, because you're also an amazingly important lore character. Because we're going to get a shield, I, that I know we will, uh, let's sell off the current one that we've got there, speaking of which. Now, also handy that there happens to be a letterbox here, a mailbox, and of course we don't have any mail at the moment, but I do notice there's another quest over here somewhere. Aha! Here we go, and look at this, by the way, look at that view, everything has a red glow around it now, absolutely amazing. Alright, so Sassy is here, and of course she's the one that flew us over. Oh boy, are we glad for Smart her. Enough, eh? Okay, the War Chief has promised to help us rescue our people and deal with Gallywicks if we help them with the Alliance. Sounds like a fair deal to me. Enemy of my friend is my enemy, right? 
You did right there, Sassy. Mine disposal, the goblin way. All right, so the paratroopers have mined the beach. The war chief asked me if there's anything we can do about that, and I told him, you bet we can. I was thinking maybe you could take the satchel of grenades and detonate the landmines from a safe distance. That's how we do things, right? Oh, I guess it is, and you can see we've got a new objective there. You detonate the 10 landmines. So, oh, and you can see the alliance. There they are up there, the stealth fighters. Let's have a look at the map now and see what the lay of the land looks like. So you can see basically this is all down on the beach front there is where our objectives are. And if we have a look out over here, oh yeah, we can see them dropping bombs, by the way. But isn't, look at it, fiery red sky, it just absolutely looks amazing, doesn't it? Seriously, for a game that is, is as you know, look at that, seven years old, there's the proof, seventh anniversary, this is a damn fine thing. All right, and I think that, there we go, the Alliance paratroopers, they're the ones that we're going to have to slay, and you can see the front battle lines down there as well, we've got Alliance paratroopers down there at the same time, and you can see in the distance on the beach we've got some sparkly landmines as well they're the ones that we're going to have to uh, take to and you can see we've got ourselves a quest object and if we look at the use ability of that throw at a landmine to set it off they're not powerful enough to be good for much more all right so that is it we're over time but boy oh boy oh boy have we got our work cut out for us and was that not an absolutely incredibly epic episode anyhow folks i certainly hope you enjoyed that i sure as heck did meeting thrall again that made it all worth the while for me certainly hope you guys are going to join us in the next episode and of course on behalf of myself sambo yogurt our now level and uh, what is it level 11 and a half almost uh goblin shaman it's us saying take care certainly hope you're having a great day wherever in the world you are we look forward to seeing you next time we'll see you then and bye bye